welcome to hog dives uh, youtube uh, channel well i'm going to show you uh, how you can add a custom message to your mac login screen um, have you ever noticed a mac showing a custom welcome message before you can log in or has it ever happened with you that you needed to accept a computer usage policy or a kind of uh, terms and condition before you're allowed to log into a mac well yes uh, this all happens normally with a school computer or a computer in library or uh, computer at your work normally because uh, system administrator in different places they want you to accept a terms and condition or a usage policy before you can log in uh, well this is type of the message I'm talking about uh, well uh, this is either called login message uh, or a welcome message uh, they all shows at the login screen or sometimes before the login screen appears uh, well, so Basically, there are two types of messages that can be shown to an end user. The first is just text message showing at the bottom of the login screen, and the second could be a kind of user agreement uh, banner uh, with text and images, uh, both uh, that a user must agree before he or she can log into the computer. Now, setting up such a custom message or banner is very simple. Uh, I'll show you the simplest way first, and then I'll move on to the next part. Actually, both are very simple. So let me start with the first option uh, where the l messages that you set uh, actually l appears at the bottom of the login window and for that you need to go to the system preferences so click on the Apple menu at the top left corner of the screen and then select system preferences and then go to the security and privacy and here you have to at the general tab if you are at any other tab like privacy or firewall make sure you click the general tab now this option normally the second option saying show a message when the screen is locked is normally unchecked because I already enabled this option so that's why it's checked let me disable and then enable it again so in order to make changes here you have to first uh, open the padlock sign at the bottom so click on the lock icon and then type the administrator password All right, let me uncheck this to clear that previous message. Okay, now this is how it appears when you see on your computer. Now check this box and click on set lock messages, uh, lock message button, and uh, you will be given a win smaller window. Now, now here you can type the message that you want to appear. I already have a message uh, written here in this file. I'll simply copy it. Close. Okay, so now the message has been set and just close the log. And uh, now, once you go to the login window, you'll get to see the message. Normally, by default, the uh, Mac login screen only shows the username. Um, but after enabling this option and setting up a message, you will see the messages at the bottom. This could be also helpful in case your Mac is lost or stolen. You can probably save your phone number or the email address to contact the owner of the Mac. So if somebody finds, uh, you know, finds your Mac, uh, it would be able to contact you by looking at the message. Now. Um, had it be possible to log out while you know recording the video so I would actually not be able to log out because I have to show the second steps also the other option so I'll show you this uh, you know at the uh, browser you know I have this already published on hogdive.com so if you go here it looks like this once you log in you would be able to see so this is how it appears at the bottom of the screen so I'll show you at the end of the video. In the end of this video, so let me close this and move on to the next step. The second one is actually setting up a policy banner. So if you want to, you know, to set a policy including images and text or you know a long message before a user is allowed to log into your computer. So normally this kind of banner only has one allow option or accept button so the user must accept the policy that is shown to him 
before they will be given the option to log in the username uh, and the account available to log in with on that Mac will only be shown after the policy is accepted so I'll show you how you can set that up so you can simply open a text editor mess you know text editor app you can go to this spotlight type text edit and uh, open text edit and now here you have to type the policy and include the images if you want or just uh, you know include the image containing the information um, that you have as a policy now I had this already prepared to you know, expedite this video um, so in order to include images in the text editor here you simply need to drag it you know like this one if I would want to drag it here at the bottom so it's very simple let me show you so keep the policy information and then drag the images all right so my image is right here okay so uh, this is how you can actually create uh, or prepare this policy document now i don't want to sh sh keep this image here alright so this is my file and I'll just save it make sure you save this file with the name policy banner the name should be like this I'll show you policy banner so save it anywhere um, the best place is your desktop now once this information is saved copy this and then click on the go and then select go to folder and then this is the place you have to paste this file to this is library slash security let's go here and paste item and you will be asked to enter your administrator password alright and we are all set to go now this policy banner will be appeared every time you turn your computer on and you go to login screen so before you go to the login screen you have to accept this policy agreement let me close this up so there's a uh, second way there is one another option you can set the messages on the screen uh, that's actually screen saver you must have uh, seen this uh, you know when you leave your computer unattended or you know you're not doing anything you actually get the screen server activated and that normally you know shows few pictures so in organization uh, you know corporate or you know places people or the system administrator normally set a kind of uh, you know uh, policy documents or sh uh, they actually prefer to show uh, pictures with uh, company's achievement or some ethics um, you know do's and don't at workplace so these kind of p pages you know pictures can be set at login screen but if you want to s uh, you know rather show a text message instead of showing picture you can uh, you know do that as well so you know to do that you have to go to the system preferences again click on the Apple logo and then system preferences and now here uh, go to the desktop and screen saver and uh, on the left side of this window you have different types of screen saver uh, uh, and um, on the right side it shows the preview of the screen saver that is selected so if you select floating uh, flip uh, flip up reflections uh, anything you know they all choose their preview here on the right side um, normally for work I think Ken Burns or classic would be per perfect so this normally shows the picture in full screen and uh, let's select uh, Ken Burns now here if you want to show a set of pictures so uh, you know uh, containing the policies and do's and doors and ethics you have to go to the source option now and then select choose folder now uh, you must have uh, your documents already prepared and uh, they should be saved in a folder 
uh, it could be just one image or more than one so once you have prepared your policy documents in in images format you can select it here so I have saved uh, uh, you know few pictures in the policy folder here on the desktop now here these have, you know these are the two pictures now if I select the policy folder the screensaver will have uh, these policy documents shown to the screen when the computer is left unattended so let me minimize the screensaver here one minute and uh, close this out now I'll just wait and I won't do anything or let me just uh, do the preview and I think that would be the best option stop a screensaver and this is a preview okay here you go so the policy documents the text they all will be shown here now if I change uh, the screensaver type let's take it to classic let's click on preview okay, here it is so this is how you could uh, show, you know, or, or make uh, some policy document appear during the uh, screen server activity. So just in case, if you do not want to show pictures, you just want to uh, show the text messages, just like at the login window. You can simply go to the message option in the screen server types, and then click a screen server option here, and then type the message, text message that you want to see. So uh, let me select the same policy, you know, information saved in the policy document. At the bottom, we have this few information written about the computer close this out save it here okay now if I click preview let's see how it appears so this was uh, the third option you can show some custom message on your computer screen and uh, this could also be shown to the login screen because uh, when your computer is left unattended actually it goes to the uh, you know before it goes to the sleep mode you actually get the screen server activated so screen server is actually good for computer security and privacy because it uh, hides the information on the desktop screen or the work that you are doing so well this could be helpful to show some important messages or you know maybe a policy document or a text so this was all about showing you know uh, messages and how you could uh, add a custom text message at the login window now I'll you know show you how it appears when you log in so let me close this out and uh, restart the computer before that I need to save this with alright so I have restarted the computer now I'll show you how those messages will appear on the login window uh, the one uh, with the policy banner which has picture and uh, long information written will appear first and the user must uh, agree to that before okay so this is the one I was talking about so this is the usage policy it's also called uh, policy banner which we saved in the security folder uh, now here if you see all the messages are here including the information the contact information at the bottom now user only has uh, accept option so once you click on the accept you will be given the option to log in now the second option the second you know the message or type which we you know saw in the first uh, uh, in the beginning of the video that includes uh, a normal message at the bottom of the login window that is your welcome to hogback.com please uh, note that by logging into this computer you accept the computer usage policy published at hogback.com so whatever message you want to show just write it there in the system preferences uh, set to login message and it will be saved it will be shown here now this can be scrolled down okay now here you can log in so that was all about this um, you know, steps um, thank you so much for watching this video i hope you like this please uh, click on the like button and share this video thank you so much bye bye